Welcome to the Ice Talks, where we implement change every day. Hey, Harold S. Reed Jr. here, also known as HRJR, your motive action or life coach. If you don't know what motive action means, motive plus action equals results, and results equals success. Well, it's been a couple weeks, but this is going to be the last podcast episode for 2018. We are, at the time of this recording, about an hour and a half, eh, yeah, about an hour and a half away from 2019, and I was thinking, you know, should I do this podcast now, or should I wait till after midnight, and I realized that I really didn't give you, my listeners, a, a, a decent goodbye. There was no closure for 2018 in my last podcast because I really wasn't expecting that one, honestly, to be my last podcast for 2018. So this right here, this this podcast right here, <laughs> this is the farewell, for, farewell to 2018 podcast. And I want to share with you something I came across in my studies. And what I like to do is, of course, share what I learn, obviously, uh, but give it to you in such a way that you can immediately apply it to your lives and and begin to benefit and learn from it. Uh, What I've come to find since I began uh, my, my, well, since I've been on this journey of personal development for almost 20 years now, um, it's, it's, no, about 20 years, uh, and doing it professionally for about half that time. Um, I'd have to say a little bit more than half, honestly. But but bottom line is this. What I've come to discover is that what I learn moving forward always has a morsel or an element or some kind of piece of something I've already learned just presented in a different way, a new way, a new perspective. So I find myself already living out some of these things or living out uh, the intended experience of some of the lessons that I'm learning now. I've already experienced or lived out and experienced some of the elements of the lessons that I'm learning. So that being set aside, I want to share this with you um, as, let's call it preventive maintenance for 2019. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll call it preventive maintenance for 2019. And I want you to, to plant the seed now so that when you hear this, or when, when I complete this, you'll have a full understanding of what I expect you to do moving forward. Now, what I came across in my studies, you know, that whole preamble, what the hell did you find in your studies? Uh, what I found in my studies is a parable called the parable of the boiled frog. Now, if you've never heard it before, I'm going to give it to you right now. It goes like this. If you place a frog in a pot of boiling water, it will immediately try to scramble out. But if you place the frog in room temperature water and don't scare it, it'll stay put. Now, if the pot sits on a heat source, stove, what have you, and if you gradually turn up the temperature, something very interesting happens. As the temperature rises, say from 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, of course, Uh, the frog won't do anything. In fact, he'll show every sign or it, because it could be a she, you know, I don't know. (laughs) The frog will show every sign of enjoying itself. Now, as the temperature gradually increases, the frog will become groggier and groggier until it's unable to climb out of the pot, let alone hop out the pot. Now, even though There's nothing restraining the frog. You didn't put rubber bands around the feet, the legs or whatever. There's nothing restraining the frog. There's nothing preventing the frog from jumping out as the water gets hotter. The frog is just going to sit there and boil and cook. Why? Here's why. Because the frog's internal apparatus, the the frog's internal senses for uh, sensing threats to its survival it's geared to sudden changes in the environment. So if you snap, if you clap, if you, something quick happens, something like that, then, you know, like, or if you put the frog in already boiling water, bam, that's a sudden impact. That's a sudden sensation. The frog is going to immediately react to that. But the frog is not geared 
to change to 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 get the the frog is not geared to react suddenly to gradual changes in its environment. All right, it's 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 its senses are are. This is just how the, this is how God made frogs. <laughs> okay, they react to sudden stimuli, but not to slow and gradual stimuli. So this is how people. I guess this is the secret to cooking frogs if you're into that thing. But let me tell you how that applies to you. Let me tell you how that applies to all of us. See, sometimes if we see ourselves in a bad situation right off the bat, okay, we can say, okay, listen, I don't want no parts of this, and we get out. But a lot of times we find ourselves being patient. We find ourselves taking our time. We find ourselves being tolerant. We find ourselves giving someone the benefit of the doubt that they'll change. And this is the source of a great many toxic relationships that all of us have experienced or will experience throughout our lifetimes. Okay. So what I want you to do and and understand by me sharing this parable with you, I want you to pay attention to your relationships going into 2019 personal relationships, professional relationships, family relationships, all right? Pay close attention, all right? Because you want to have people who add value to your lives. No matter who they are, no matter what the circumstance, you want to have value added to your life. But as I always say, life is a process, everything is a process, and all processes take time. So even your whatever relationship you want to take stock of, guess what? That relationship is a process. Every relationship is a process and all processes take time. So what I want you to do is utilize that time as you are going through the experiences of that relationship to evaluate whether or not value is being added. In other words, look for the gradual changes. Now, If the gradual changes are wonderful, if the gradual changes are good, then by all means, keep banging, live your life. I'm happy for you. But be mindful if you are experiencing gradual changes that gradually make you unhappy. And at some point in time, you are going to have to be unlike that frog and get yourself out of that situation in order to improve your life in order to increase your chances of survival because there are plenty of people in this world who stay in bad relationships, who stay in dead-end jobs. Why? Because they get comfortable, they get complacent, they just sit there and they just let whatever happens, happens. Oh, at least I got a good job. At least I got a man. At least I got this woman, right? But what good is being in a dead end job that it just pays the bills? So in other words, you living to pay for somebody else's dreams. You living to pay some other company to keep that company running and you paying for the services that you get or the products that you buy. But what are you really doing for yourself with the money you make on that job? If your job doesn't even fulfill you, I can see if it was one thing, if you love what you did so much that the money didn't matter. Okay, cool. But if you're in a dead-end job, job's not going away, there's no chance for growth at all, why put yourself through that? So be on the lookout for, the, for whatever signs that may be necessary for you to see that this job might not be for you for the next 5, 10, 20 plus years. The same goes for your relationships. Now, we all grow, right? As individuals, we all grow. Understand this. And I'm not big on giving relationship advice, trust me, because I know I give my wife a hell of a hard time. But I will say this, not just regarding romantic, marital, or otherwise intimate relationships, but even your your friendships, your associates, acquaintances, however you want to define them, be on the lookout for things in their character as well as your own that create gradual changes in the ebb and flow of your relationship with these people. Be on the lookout for what they do. Be on the lookout for what they say. And if these gradual, like I said, if these gradual changes are good, By all means, keep banging. But if you start to see and experience gradual changes 
that take you someplace you don't want to go emotionally or psychologically, whatever, you know, you have to make a decision to cut ties and and move on. There's always going to be a better situation somewhere to get into. It's not so much saying the grass is greener on the other side, but if you're already in a, in a field of weeds, what you what do you what do you have to lose by getting out of there? All right. So as we move forward into 2019, I want you to start planting seeds. You should have been planting seeds already because it's going to take some time for those seeds to germinate in your spirit, to germinate in your mind, to germinate in the essence of your soul so that you may someday throughout at some point in the year harvest the benefits and the fruits of the seeds that you're planting, whether it be financial, emotional, spiritual, what have you. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to close this out. I hope I gave you something serious to think about going into the new year. And if you are listening to this podcast after midnight, uh, during sometime January 1st or after January 1st, then let me say to you at this time, Happy New Year. I wish you uh, all of the blessings that you are due and uh, have a good year. Have a happy, happy, prosperous 2019. Take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Ice Talks, where we implement change every day.